Welcome, and thank you for watching our training session on Timken Revolvo. We'll cover quite a bit of information today, so we invite you to contact your Timken sales representative after today's training for more detail. Stronger outside, smarter inside, Timken housed units deliver consistency, control, and confidence. Timken acquired Revolvo in October 2014, adding to its broad line of housed units. Why? because Timken Revolvo keeps your operation on the move. Our cylindrical roller bearing housed unit is completely split to the shaft which allows you to assemble the bearing in a trapped application where there's no need to move the drive components such as motors, gearboxes, and couplings in order to change the bearing. Let's take a closer look at some of the features that make Revolvo unique. Sizes range from 1 and 3 sixteenths of an inch up to 24 inches or 35 millimeters to 600 millimeters. As mentioned earlier, the bearings, seals, housing, and pedestal are completely split to the shaft. To accommodate static alignment, the housings can be laser lined in the pedestal to a plus or minus one and a half degrees or the same as a double row spherical housed unit. Machine brass cage is standard to accommodate higher speeds and temperatures. Profiled rolling elements eliminate edge stressing on the rollers themselves, adding additional run time before failure on the shaft. The integrated cage clip is fixed to the cage and prevents loss during assembly and disassembly. A number of sealing styles are available that will allow you to customize the seal to the specific application condition. Now let's look at the anatomy of the split cylindrical roller bearing. Now you can finally see how the split goes all the way to the shaft. There are two different bearing options for this unit, the fixed bearing and the float bearing. The outer ring, shown on the top, and bottom left of this image will have two flanges for a fixed bearing or no flanges for a float bearing. Move toward the center of the anatomy graphic and you'll find the inner ring. This is machined on an angle which minimizes the stress on the rolling elements. Think about driving across a set of railroad tracks. If you cross at an angle, your tires hit it at four different points, reducing the impact felt by the driver. It's the same idea here. The assembly procedure with a split cylindrical roller bearing, as mentioned, allows you to replace the bearing without moving the coupling or gear drive. You can see in this animation how it all comes together. Now, think about places where we'd want to use this bearing. Maybe where the bearing is trapped between a fan and direct drive coupled setup. Possibly a shiv reduction as well in many fan applications that make it a more timely replacement process. Think about the realignment, disassembly, belt retentioning, etc. Or a shaft mount, motor and coupling setup that would be common on a bucket head or a head pulley setup. How long do you think it would take to change a normal bearing in one of these positions? Could be a day or a couple days, depending on the complexity of the structure. With the Timken Revolvo solution, it goes much faster. A great complement to the split bearing is Timken's quick fit pedestal that can slide into place below the shaft for the first Revolvo installation. Take a look at this animation. This is the SAFQ angled pedestal and you can easily see how well this works for these trapped applications we just talked about. See how with minimal shaft support you're able to slide the pedestal into position directly under the shaft. This design decreases the initial installation time as well so the customer saves on both ends when he installs and when he replaces the bearing. The previous animation showed how the pedestal was already under the shaft. That's because the first time you install it, you'll have to disconnect all the drive equipment and slide that pedestal on the shaft. But when you have this angled pedestal, once you cut out your old bearing, you just slide the quick fit pedestal under the shaft, then bring in the bearing components and get back to work. Between the split bearing and the angled pedestal, Timken Revolvo keeps your operation on the move. Now let's look at sealing options. Timken Revolvo offers eight different sealing options and will highlight the most common. If you need a seal for contaminated environments, we use a Kevlar packing seal or a KPS. Kevlar is used to make bulletproof vests. It's very wear resistant to dirt and debris and can run up to maximum bearing speed. The other seal we will use for high speed applications like fans or high speed motors is the Aluminum Triple Labyrinth Seal or ATL. The ATL seal is the most common in the split cylindrical roller bearing market. Featuring a dual O-ring design on the ID, this seal is best suited for 90% of all applications, including submerged bearings. 
The Revolvo nomenclature allows you to order the complete assembly or bearing and seal replacements. For a complete assembly, it begins with the series. The light and medium are the most common of the three options. In this example, we're using the medium series. The next single letter, either E or M, represents the English or metric. The following box shows the actual shaft outside diameter, which in this case is 4 and 15 sixteenths. The part of the unit style and type dictate if we want a BX, expansion bearing, which is floating, or a BR, retained bearing, which is fixed. The H in the example indicates we want a housing, and the SAFQ shows the angled split line or quick fit pedestal that we covered earlier. Finally, we need to specify the seal option. As discussed, the Kevlar or Labyrinth are the most common. Timken Revolvo split cylindrical roller bearings can change the game for your end users when it comes to replacing trapped application bearings. As you saw earlier, the innovative design with assembly around the shaft cuts insulation time up to 90% and reduces health and safety risks associated with the moving components. Timken Revolvo keeps your operation on the move. The installation time and other savings allow sellers to document value back to the end user, especially with the SAFQ angled pedestals. So consider how Revolvo might be part of your sales arsenal in the future. Thank you again for watching this Timken Revolvo training session. Please contact your Timken sales representative for more information about Revolvo.